is drug activity there. There's a brothel over there. It's not okay the way it is now. It's not safe for me or my tenants. But first, it was a place for Albuquerque's homeless population to pitch a tent and stay a while until authorities say someone else started moving in. KLB Eyewitness News 4 at 10 starts right now. You probably think it's a place just for homeless people. But police say crooks are there too, serious ones in fact. And Eric Izuko joins us from near Tent City with more on what's being done to stop it. Recently, more and more people have been pitching tents in the area, but the city says it's become a hotbed for criminal activity. And tonight, police were here checking on people. If you've driven near First and Iron, you've likely seen this row of tents. Neighbor Courtney Bell says at first, the row was quiet and peaceful, but now it's something else. Well, they use that alley as a bathroom. Um, they try to sleep in this lot sometimes. I find evidence of drug use, you know, lots of trash. It's a shame. It's a shame that it's gotten so much worse. The city says police have found people there who aren't even homeless, dealing drugs and soliciting prostitutes. It specifically jeopardized and preyed on those living within that um, homeless area. Today, the city announced plans to clear out the area. It's asked APD to be out in full force arresting criminals. So we want to target those folks. We want them out of that area, and we want to help address those most vulnerable and being preyed on by these criminals, victimizing them. And they'll have advocates for the homeless talking with those who've pitched tents about what's available for them elsewhere. Bell says she's glad illegal activity will be out. But she feels for those who simply wanted somewhere to sleep outside. I kind of wish it wasn't an all or nothing thing because, you know, I really I feel for these people for sure. And I'm not sure why we couldn't have a legal tent city or some other kind of transitional housing. And the city says eventually it would like to have no tents in the area, but advocates have urged quality, not quickness. And the city says it agrees it wants to be compassionate with relocations. Your first denier, Eric Azuko, KOBI Witness News 4.